Okay, so on to the last track slash performance in Sonia's Harmony of Hearts uh, package for the day. Oh, there is more coming for Sonia. Um, she has booked a few, so that's coming uh, up in the next uh, two weeks. Uh, but we actually on to other people's ones uh, tomorrow. Like I said in my videos uh, before, uh, before this one, um, we will be wrapped up with all of the HOHs. All of your HOHs will be wrapped up by the 29th. I know we actually wanted to schedule them into the calendar, but we're having an issue with the calendar thing. But don't stress, like we said, HOHs were for February and I'm doing them in order, right? So whoever booked first and whoever booked second, whoever booked third, we're going in that order right up until uh, the very last one. So we've already dropped a whole bunch of them. We did open up for a few more and we will drop those as well. Uh, but don't worry, all of yours will be booked until, just bear with us until we get that calendar sorted out. We will get it sorted out by the next campaign um, but uh, what's actually happening with the calendar is when we put those uh, um, entries in um, after we get past a certain point there, there seems to be some sort of glitching that it's just it's throwing things around I don't understand why we are putting a new module in there right just unfortunately in the back end with stuff like this it takes time because we are also developing other stuff in the back end so um, it's, it's, it's about uh, um, we're sort of working around a couple of uh, fires over here but anyway um we are now on to well we're ending off the day on the hoh with led zeppelin now we haven't done much of led zeppelin at all if any actually um i don't know anything about them i do know that they are a very iconic band um the song is called what is and what should never be live at the royal albert hall in 1970 and the message of here from sonia is led zeppelin were an english rock band formed in london in 1968 so obviously this song was quite recently performed uh, after the um sort of initiation essentially um since they've started so anyway you guys uh can give me more info about led zeppelin down in the comment section um, I've never heard this song. I haven't heard much of Led Zeppelin at all. Actually, I probably haven't heard anything by Led Zeppelin. It's never been on my playlist. Um, and yeah, we've never gone down any of their discography. So there's what it is. Um, for those of you who want to book more HOHs, I am completely booked up. Uh, my capacity and Alex's capacity has now reached its limit, so we're not doing any more of those. And uh, there is still Magify, Magnify and Wolf right um, you can go and book uh, for them that absolutely love the support and they're fantastic you'll really enjoy their reactions they don't just sit and say oh this is fire no they actually really do dig into the uh, lyrics like i told you i handpicked all the guys for the fables fear and i'm very proud of the guys that are that have joined us here i think we've got an absolutely sensational team and we're building something great over here so yeah links are all down in the description um let's get into this man let's get and what is what is and what should never be let's go and if i say to you tomorrow take my hand child come with me it's to a castle i will take you but what's to be the same? Tomorrow, oh, what fun it all would be! I love this kind of old school chop ups, which I think is absolutely awesome, where they start off. Uh, um, very calmly and they go into their song and then they go they just switch into like the hard the harder uh, rock I wouldn't call it hard rock but they switch into like a higher tempo and then afterwards they bring it down again right so I like that they add in that chaos and then tranquil and chaos and tranquil I love it when they do that I love it when music um, actually does that you want those sort of highs and lows and crescendos and things like that uh, in music because it actually it's, it's a roller coaster ride oh, Watch the stoppers, pretty baby. Good voice. But what isn't what should never be.
wake up with the sunrise. Ooh. You know the rule. You know the rule. You don't pause uh, in the middle of a guitar solo, right? That's the rule on this channel over here. Sometimes we break it because we get too involved in the in the song, and then we like realize, holy shit, what have we done? Anyway. One thing I will say is, and I've said this a couple of times before, where the 1970s was a great, great time for art. The art industry was just a great time. Uh, 1970, some of the, the bands, the music industry was absolutely uh, um, booming. It was incredible, brilliant artists, very, very creative concepts with music and all that kind of thing. Same, same as it was for the uh, movie industry, right? Some of the greatest movies came from the 1970s. Some of the greatest scripts, some of the greatest plots came from the 1970s. You really do have to appreciate, right, the quality, the level at what at what they were producing in the 1970s it was something. Uh, unbelievable. Having said that, the one thing I've never understood was the damn sideburns, man. <laughs> I just never understood the damn long, bushy sideburns. I mean, every era, era's got its thing. Sure. Listen, I'm a 1990s kid and <laughs> let's not go back there because <laughs> talk about fucking cringe. We got lots of cringe to go through in the 1990s, right? But uh, really, the 1970s, if you go back and actually go into that era of art, that decade, you know, between the 1970s and 1980s was a decade of absolute pure perfection when it came to music and um, um, movies alike. Anyway, carry on. And all your dreams are still as new. And happiness is what you need to I actually really enjoyed that piece, I must be honest. Like I said, we, I haven't heard anything by Led Zeppelin at all. I haven't gone down the discography at all. Um, but I also I love, and I know you guys too, uh, love it too, you love um, the uh, live versions, right? The live versions are absolutely awesome, right? Because you also, you get a sense of the band, you get a sense of the type of characters that they were, you get a sense of their stage presence and how well they delivered on stage. Do you know what I mean? Um, and uh, yeah, I really like that. You guys really like that. You guys let me know what you think down below. That was very cool. A great way to end off um, this HOH. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow with more. Have a great one. Peace.